Hi, welcome to Bella's Vistas. Thanks for visiting. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell and you'll be advised of our future videos. Well, we're landing in Shannon. What a beautiful village. Look at the fields. Our first stop in the bus was Limerick. There was a castle here and some ruins. We had a great tour around here. Really enjoyed ourselves. We had some great fish and chips too along here. I enjoy the windows and the treatments with the flowers and cars and everything is just beautiful. Look at the colors. It's just fantastic. Then we went to Ross Castle. We took a hike and went there. It was pouring rain. It was amazing though. The castle with the trees, water in the foreground. Wonderful place to visit. We learned a lot about the construction of the castles. There's some boats there. Life-saving vests there. Wonderful visit. The little wee fields, it's amazing how small they are. And the bright windows. Look at that, wow. It's a lot like Newfoundland in a lot of ways, but maybe it's even more colorful. There's a lot of little pubs and places to stop. Fish and chips, uh, local cuisine, bars, lots of empty beer kegs out on the road. We went on a bus tour for a couple weeks. Had a great time there. We saw lots of things. We traveled the Ring of Kerry. People come here to surf. Look at the little cottages along the shore. Wave action. Then there were these stone dome dwellings. The monks lived in the stone castles and wrote books and things. The little dinosaur rocks going down to the ocean. And now we went back to the castle again in the daytime and had a walk around there with the bright sun. They taught us how the castle people would drop stones from the top and they would bounce off the wall which was curved out at the bottom to hurt people that were trying to attack the castle. That was one of the things they did was just throwing rocks off the top of the castle. They would bounce out and hit people and the stairways were in such a way that they went in a circle and you had to use, the people attacking would have to use the sword in their left hand. There were some ram's heads and window treatments. Lots of flowers growing everywhere, around the windows and on bridges even. They told us when we got there that it had been raining up until we came and then it got nice for, we had a nice dry visit there. Went at this farm and saw the geese. Beautiful, beautiful thatched roofs. White painted stonework. This was a beautiful, huge manor house. Look at all the smokestacks, chimneys. The grounds, beautiful place to walk around. Then we went to Killarney Castle. This is the home of the Blarney Stone. I didn't actually go up and kiss the Blarney Stone. They said it would have been redundant, but I had a great visit there and toured around, saw a lot of things. This is history. I mean, you got stuff here that's really, really, really old compared to our... Some of these gravestones are 600 years old. They've been eaten away by the moss, so there's, you can't read the names on them anymore, but wow. There's a horse watering trough running out beneath this castle. Castle's right on the river. There's somebody fishing in the river. Look at this, wow. I'm so glad that I got to go to Ireland and see this. This is the first old world place that I've been to. I want to go to Scotland yet, perhaps Vienna and Austria. The Waterford glass works is just unbelievable. 
I was feeling a bit under the weather, probably from too much restaurant food, and I wanted to just stay on the bus, but they wouldn't let me do that, so I had to go through. And uh, so what I did was just work as hard as I could making photographs of the glassware to keep my mind off of being ill. And I got some great shots, I think. These fellows have been doing this. They're master glass workers, and they've been doing this their whole lives. And look at these cruets, and uh, here's a glass vase, and they, they have these techniques down. I mean, there's, it's freehand work. It's just amazing the way they use a piece of wood to bend things around and make a little horse like this all out of crystal. It's unbelievable. Now this fella has some lines painted on there with a marker so that he knows where to grind. But the rest of it is all done by hand. It's, and the pattern is so intricate. And the little grinding wheels, unbelievable that they can do that. Look how this castle is built right along the river. I don't know how they manage to do that, but it's, it's amazing that stuff Thing dreams are made of. Look at that cobblestone sidewalk through there. All the feet that have polished that over the many, many years. Amazing castle up on the hill. Look at this. This is the butter slip. What an amazing place. I don't know why they call it the butter slip, but it's a way to go through between the buildings. The foolish fairy. Again, look at the window treatments. Just amazing. The Blue Door restaurant. We were on a budget, so we didn't get to enjoy many of those things, but saw this place off of the bus, and I decided we had to come back there and see how they do the thatching on the roofs and everything. And the, the windows, windows and doors are a really big thing. Here's a water pump that's been just ornately painted. Fantastic. Blue Door Restaurant, on to Adair. Wow. Adair is just fantastic. There was a sweater shop there that was just, look at this, this is a row housing. And I mean, it's so beautiful. The flowers, what treatment, and they take such care of everything. It's all impeccably taken care of. Look at this, a milk cart, I imagine, with the milk jugs. Here's the waterfront, Waterford waterfront, wow. Now we're starting to get a little bit of light, getting towards sunset, it's lighting up. When you come from Kitchener, and <laughs> you live downtown and you go to a place like this, it, it's, it's so transformational, it's just wonderful to get away. We're getting some car action there, moving cars, blasting down the road. Here's the Viking wall here, this is hundreds of years old. Thousand-year-old Viking wall guarded by a lone pigeon. Look at that tower. Wow, unbelievable. This is right downtown. You got buses driving past this thing. Unbelievable, and the horse guarding everything. Wow, look at this. This is not what I'm used to. Now we're on the way out to a horse farm and we're stopped by a cemetery and see some amazing things. The Celtic Cross. Another cottage with a thatched roof. This is Sligo Abbey. And it was pouring rain when we got there, and then the rain stopped. So I got some nice photographs, but a lot of the stone was still wet, so it looks nice and interesting. We're in the churchyard here. Some old stones and some graves here. Look at the history. What an amazing place. All the stonemason work there is unbelievable. There's cranes in the background. There's construction going on in Westport here. The river going through and the bridges. Look at the care to plant those flowers along the bridge. I mean, that just really picks it up. It really makes it beautiful. It makes it worthwhile coming here just to have a look around. Look at the colors and everything. Wow. Beautiful. We saw a funeral procession going through here. I didn't take any pictures of that out of respect, but it was something to see. Look at that roof with the slate and the moss. Fog over top of the mountains. 
and the ever-present flowers on the bridge. What a nice treatment. This fellow was wondering about the time. Then we took a ride to Aaron Islands. We went there and we got a horse cart. I can't believe it. I met two ladies on the boat and they decided we should all take a horse cart ride together and we did. We went all around Aaron Island and we saw a lot of things. Viking stoneworks up on the hill. Look at all these fields. There's my camera bag on the back of the cart. This horse was a young horse and he wanted to come out and pull a cart with the other horses. There was a seaweed factory here where they used to harvest seaweed hundreds of years ago. There's the ocean. This is the Viking works. Now a lot of people get washed off and blown off these cliffs and still people come out and sit there. Lucky Star Bar, I saw that rooster and I had to jump off of the cart and go take a picture of him. Castles in the distance. These are some ancient bones of a dead bear that were in the bottom of the cave. We went to an underground cave. There's the praying hands in the cave. Stalagmites and stalactites coming down from the ceiling. It's a waterfall, underground waterfall. This is a 6,000 pound and 6,000 year old monument. Sort of a grave kind of a thing. Apparently they would dig up their dead ancestors and put the bones under there for a time for some reason or other, I don't know why. Another castle here, there's castles just about everywhere. Some of these castles they called 10 pound castles because it would cost 10 pounds to build one back in the day. These are the Cliffs of Moor. Just amazing. We took a little bus trip and went to see the Cliffs of Moor. There's something to see everywhere. I mean, it's just, it, it's so different from where I live. Many graveyards everywhere, churchyards with the Celtic crosses. And there's castles like this where they have a medieval dinner sort of thing. You can go in and have dinner in a place like that. I really like, I ran down the road to get this shot of that stone arch with the castle in the background. Mary and I, we took a bus trip for the first part of the tour and then we went off on our own and we got to see things like the Spanish gate. This is the Spanish Gate, and it's an amazing place. There's a bicycle there, there's little restaurants in there. Here we are in Galway. We're gonna watch the sun go down on Galway Bay. Look at these old boats here all painted up. There's some swans. And at one point I said it would really be nice if these swans would swim across in front of these buildings. And you know what they did? I couldn't believe it. The sun was going down here. The sun went down and the moon started to come up. The light came out and what a sight. It was so beautiful. This is the Spanish arch and this is Galway. Here as the swans came out and went right where I wanted them to be, I could not believe my good fortune. This boat was there, amazing orange sails on it, and they went off to sea. These are some kind of row houses and apartments, something like that in Ireland, on Galway Bay. I can see why they wrote that song to watch the sun go down on Galway Bay because it was really something to see and something to do. So glad I was there to see it. I'll probably never ever get back there again in this lifetime. But I'm glad that I was there. Look at the moon, my goodness. Just beautiful. The swan is paying homage to the moonrise. Just beautiful. I'm, I'm just stunned with being able to go there and see this. Definitely, Ireland was a good trip. 
I would like to go and see the northern part of Ireland at some time, you know, see the gates, I think it's gates of Hercules, I'm not really sure, but this Galway Bay, the sun going down on Galway Bay was really something for me to see. It's a bit of an expensive trip to make, but it was sure well worth it. I don't regret going there. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you'll be advised of our future videos. Come on again real soon.